Hey, I'm Chris from Wistia, and we just picked up the new Nikon Key Mission 360 point and shoot 360 video camera. First and foremost, the allure of the Key Mission 360 is its ease of use. Until very recently, shooting 360 video meant needing complicated GoPro rigs with expensive stitching software and a super time consuming editing process. But with point and shoot 360 cameras like the Theta and now the Key Mission 360, the entire process is simplified. The problem with point and shoot 360 has been low resolution video recording. The Nikon Key Mission 360 promised to solve that by shooting 360 video at 4K. So join me as I share some thoughts about this strange little piece of gear. Click one button and you can record 4K equal rectangular 360 video. Stop recording and it writes the file to a micro SD card. Put the card in your computer and it's ready for upload to Wistia. This is the best part about this camera. To illustrate, here's a time lapse of the 360 stitching process with our GoPro rig. It took over eight minutes to go from camera to a stitched 360 video. Compare that with the Key Mission 360. It took about 23 seconds to go from camera to a stitched 360 video. With that being said, the software and connectivity on this camera is possibly the worst that I have ever seen. It took almost an hour to connect to my iPhone, and once it did, the app crashed and failed to work. And if the camera can't connect to a phone, you can't click record. Fortunately, you can get around all this by just putting the camera in airplane mode. Now, you can't connect it to anything or you can't monitor your shot, but hey, it works just fine in analog mode. We've had point and shoot capabilities for a while with the Ryko Theta S, but video resolution was limited to 1080p, which when viewed as a 360 video resulted in a very blurry image. The Key Mission 360 produces 4K 360 footage at 3840 by 2160. So how does it stack up against our GoPro rig? Here's a 360 shot from the GoPro rig, and here's the same shot with the Nikon Key Mission 360. The GoPro rig is definitely sharper, but the key mission holds up pretty well. Way better than the Theta S. Because the GoPro rig has seven cameras, each camera is exposing for each part of the scene. This leaves you with a more evenly exposed 360 shot. The key mission only has two cameras with tiny sensors, which limits the amount of dynamic range you can get. Also, you'll notice that the key mission does a much better job hiding the light stand it was mounted on than the GoPro rig. Fewer lenses mean fewer stitch points. You can kind of see the stitching in certain situations on the key mission, but overall the stitching is way less noticeable. Regardless, having only two stitch points makes the key mission a way better option for shooting 360 video that's in motion. Here's some footage of me walking handheld with the key mission outside. You don't have to worry about camera syncing, global shutter, or any of that other crap you had to think about when you shoot with the 360 GoPro rig. One major downfall of the Key Mission's image quality is that you're limited to shooting at 24 frames per second when you're shooting 4K 360 video. At Wistia, we found that higher frame rates for 360 video will yield a more realistic shot, so the 24p stutter on the Key Mission is definitely noticeable. The Key Mission is heavier than it looks, but it's still incredibly compact for a 360 video camera. It's got a removable battery, which is nice to have, and there's no internal storage limitation because it shoots to a micro SD card. Also, it's easy to mount this thing with traditional camera mounts thanks to the standard quarter 20 thread on the bottom. Although we didn't test it, the key mission is waterproof too. But one bummer about the camera is that you can't shoot footage while it's plugged into power. Despite all of its quirks, this little camera is pretty incredible for 500 bucks. And if you're thinking about getting started with making 360 video, go pick one up immediately. Just put it in airplane mode and pretend that there's no software that's included.